y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. Okay, so boom. This year, my family is celebrating Kwanzaa. Well, really, I'm celebrating Kwanzaa and making them participate. And I wanted to try to make like an African dish because, you know, you can celebrate Kwanzaa however you want, but you know, they encourage you to like, you know, explore. And I was like, I'm gonna make some jollof. I've never had jollof, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to make some jollof. I feel like it'll be exciting. Um, and it was, it was certainly a struggle. If you wanna see my little journey to get into some jollof, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before we get started. Also, don't forget the link to the detail recipe will be in the description box below. And let's get it crack like it. Like I said before, I've never had jollof. So I had to figure out a way to, you know, make it authentically, especially since I've never tasted it. So I was like, I'm at home for the holidays. Why don't I just ask my cousin and my friend, you know, to taste it for me and then I'll do a taste test and they can do like a vibe check. They can do an authenticity check. So I looked up best jollof near me <laughs> and I just went to the place with the best reviews. So I went to this place called Kato. I'm pretty sure it's Kato online, but it says Ato. I don't know. I don't even know how to tell you to describe it, but I went to this place and I got some jollof and you know, I went in there and the lady was nice. Uh, I ended up tipping her a lot because she looked at me like I was crazy when I was like, I just want your smallest amount of jollof. Like, give me the smallest one. Because it was really simply for a taste test. Like, that's that's it. And yeah, I was like, okay, time to recreate it. So I went home and I was like, period. I've seen a lot of Nigerians make jollof and that's only because I follow a bunch of them. I follow Lovey, Yvonne, uh, Katan, uh, Chizzy. Like, I, I see people making jollof around me. And I'm very much like, I just gotta watch you make it one time and I can make something shake. And that's not what happened. So I did a little bit of research as in I watched like 15 seconds of a video and I was like, okay, period, I got this. So I got my little ingredients and I made, I made my situation. And it started off real good. Like it was looking real good. But the final result was not jollof. Uh, okay, so it's getting watery. So here's what Monica and Nikki had to say the first time. Okay, so you got two jollofs here, right? You got the jollof from the spot and you got my jollof. I'm gonna tell me which one you like better. Which one you like better, okay? So which one do I eat first? Which one you like? Does it matter? Which one should we eat first? The one from the spot. Cause that's the real jollof, so. Okay. I'm just saying, is it not? Is it not the yeah, yeah, authentic? Original didn't compare, you know what I'm saying? Okay, period. Why is it so Why cold? Is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I over here. <laughs> Monica, that's a big bite. What you doing? Like a little taste taste or what you like? Let's, do, let's fill a spoon. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Is this rice? Is it? Okay. All right, ready? ready? I can't have it because it's not vegan, right? So like, what does it taste like? I can't even like, it's spicy, it has a kick. Yeah. Um, what does it taste like? Rice. Like plain rice? Mm-mm. It has something else there, but like, it's just a spice. It's like a lot of season. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it still just tastes like rice. What I imagine this one's gonna taste like. It's like a smoky taste though. It smells smoky when I uh, put it in my like. It, it smells like they put like meat in there or something. Like there's a meat in the background. Cause why would they be putting like liquid smoke in there? You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's like it has a smoky taste. There's like a meat there. Is it good? Oh, maybe like pork. Yeah, it's probably like some type. I don't of taste meat. You don't taste I meat? can taste it a little bit. It just tastes like really smoky, and it has like a after like red pepper flakes like type mm -hmm. of cake. It's not bad. Is it good? It's good. good. All right, let's, let's see this. Which, we're switching it up? I'm thinking this one's gonna taste like... Mm, not you. Not you starting already. Let's try it. This like, got a kick kick, okay. That's, that's, that she put with some heck of scratch bonnets in that joint. Ooh. All right. All right, ready? How much you're taking? <laughs> <laughs> not let me see how much you're taking. <laughs> you suck. Don't, add, don't get on here capping like you don't eat my stuff. Yeah, okay, Monica be slamming. I, I don't eat her I, stuff. But okay, Monica, ho. I eat her stuff, but you know. You gotta, now you being mad at me for being honest. Okay, ready? All right, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm playing y'all. All right. All right, ready? Okay. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh-uh, Nikki! <laughs> Are we supposed to be comparing it to the uh, original? Okay, or I should it. Okay, okay, okay. Because we're comparing it. Okay, yeah. wait, wait, wait. This is what I want you to do. I want you to tell me. Uh, uh hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you yeah. to tell me like how it tastes on its own. Like what you think it tastes like. Like what do you what do you think about it on its own? Like this was with rice. Mm -hmm. I just gave you this rice with something else. And then I want you to compare it to the other one. So the first one. I mean, and don't get out here capping like Katie can cook, Katie can this. Like you know, you can cook. That's not a question. Okay, so it does taste good. I'm it's like, good. Like I would eat good. it. Okay. And I probably. But it's not jollof rice. Okay, we didn't get yeah. to that part yet. Like I'll finish it off camera because you know it's, it's good. It is uh, good. I would eat it. I would. I would keep eating it. Compared, okay, very, like, you, you, you want me to be honest or do you want me to be? I want you to go. I want you to be honest, period. But I want you to go. No one on here capping or whatever. I want you to be honest about like the same. Like, oh, I taste this. I taste this. I want you to do okay. the same thing that you the analyzation you did for the the real jollof. Okay. And then, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so there's a strong tomato present. I but I hope you like yours better. Yeah, it has more, it's more going on. You know, but it's not onion. jollof rice. Yeah, this jollof. tastes like... It's probably some Spanish rice. No. Also, this is our... You know what Spanish rice you get in the packet? Yeah, this is not Spanish rice. That's, no. Okay. This is like, it's it's too much, so much tomato. Like, it, the flavor is so tomato-y. But I like that. It, like, it would be good like as like a, like with some kind of meat. Mm -hmm. I don't even say that meat, but... Could do vegan meat, period. That's not meat. No. Okay, hold on. It was it wasn't jollof rice, obviously, mm -hmm. but I mean it's still good for what it is. A lot of, a lot of give me very much pasta. <laughs> okay. More like more like pizza rice. <laughs> like sprinkle some mozzarella cheese, shit will bang. Yeah, Call it what it is, sis. It's pizza rice. Okay, would you eat the the African one again, like the Nigerian one? Would you eat that one again? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Would you eat mine again? Yeah. Yeah. Which one? But not in the same context. Yeah. Okay. Which one would you pick? You could have picked one. Which one would you pick? I would eat yours the, by the itself. Jollof. What? I'd rather eat the jollof, like the actual the African one. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't. It's not jollof, but it's still yeah. good. It's it still tastes good. good. Yeah. yeah, I want it to be jollof. So I really intended for the video to end there. I was like, you know what? I was gonna be like, I tried and failed at jollof. Like that was gonna be the title of the video. Like I tried making jollof. Lol. Ha 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 ha. And then like I, if you know me, I'm a very stubborn person. Like so stubborn like it has to go the way i intended it to go and also i was like sitting there and i was pontificating and i was like my tagline is i can make anything vegan not i can make anything vegan except jollof so the next day i was like you know what i'm gonna do it again and i did deeper research you know what i'm saying i watched a lot of different videos and just kind of grabbed from like what I liked, what I thought would do, like I'd never had jollof, but I was just making my own personal choices. Um, and I also have to figure out like how to make certain things vegan. Because I guess at first glance, jollof would be vegan, but like I just know, especially like coming from like the Caribbean stuff, like Jamaican stuff can look vegan until my grandma puts like pork in, in something, you know, like, we have green banana and then my grandma puts pork in the in the water to give it flavor you know what i'm saying so i didn't want to i didn't want to take any chances so i had to make some choices and i came up with this recipe and i'm going to share it with you i just want to preface it by saying i am not nigerian i am also not saying that this is the only way you make jollof i'm not even saying that this is authentic nigerian jollof i'm saying that this is katie makes a vegan jollof okay let's get to it Okay, so I'm gonna start out by making like the red pepper puree. And if you can see in the background, I have some diced onions. I already showed you like kind of what it was looking like, so I didn't wanna do it again. So I suppose the next day was late. I ain't feel like it, <laughs> did it. So I blended it up with a scotch bonnet pepper or a habanero pepper, if you will, some water, and I, and I skipped the tomatoes this time. So it was only red peppers, onions, and a scotch bonnet and some water, okay? I put my diced onion into the pot of, with, a, with a healthy amount of oil. 
the irony in that phrase, but we're gonna keep going, okay? We're gonna keep going. Um, and I put this beyond, um, beyond, you hear me? I'm still saying beyond. This better than bouillon, no base. You know what I'm talking about. You, if you've been here a long time, you know I love this stuff because you know you could finesse some stuff, okay? If you're a good vegan, you finesse, okay? I didn't really want to use the beef one. I wanted to use the chicken one, but I kind of used up all of that the night before. So I'm going with the beef one. It was just as good. To this oil, I also added um, curry powder. Now, I think I would personally recommend using regular curry powder. I use Jamaican curry powder because that's what I had in my yard. You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't think the people in Nigeria are using Jamaican curry powder, but you know, me was a man have, okay? And I that man have, so that's what we use. But you can use regular curry powder. I, I actually would recommend it, <laughs> to be completely honest. Okay, so I added uh, thyme and some other stuff. It's in the, in the link, okay? Then I went in with the tomato paste. I did this gingerly because the night before I used way too much tomato paste and like Monica said, it's, it was getting pasta sauce, <laughs> okay? And I just cooked that tomato paste down until it became like unacidic. I just judged it, okay, like three minutes. Then I added my puree and I didn't add too much. I didn't add too much to it because I didn't want my rice to be watery. And I let it simmer for 15 minutes until I got this, okay? Look how thick that is. now. Is this how they make it in Nigeria? Is it how they do it in the village? I don't know. I don't I don't know, okay? Because I've never even been to Nigeria. I want to go someday though. But I'm just going off of like my research, okay? So I cook it down so it was that thick. I added parboiled rice. Now, two things about this rice. One, definitely use parboiled rice because I don't know exactly what parboiled rice is, but it's like a, a, a more hearty rice so it can withstand this kind of treatment. <laughs> and also um, to wash your rice, like wash it until the water runs clear because if you don't do that, it's gonna be starchy and, and sticky and nasty. Okay, I covered that rice, just enough to cover the rice. Like, just enough to cover the rice. And I got that after 20 minutes, okay? Don't add too much water, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like sticky, you don't want that. Okay, so here was it like at the end, right? So I put the rice in, I put just enough water to cover the rice, and I let it do its thing. I just left it alone on low, like lowest my, my stove can go. I hit it with some all-purpose seasoning just to like, you know, balance the flavors out. It was a little fresh. Like it was, it was, yeah. And then I added some butter just to like, you know, when I was fluffing it up just to, you know, make it, you know, had a little, had a little thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Had a little, had a little bit going on. And here's my rice. Okay, so here's what they had to say about this batch. All right, so this is part two of us trying. That look like jalap. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't Nigerian. I look like the okay, same time. Alrighty. You got a big bite? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's do the big bite. Ready? All right, ready? Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's good. Are we rating or are we, what are we doing? Let's okay, start. let's, okay, first. Let's try to remember j the jollof, like the real jollof you had yesterday. Okay. I very I vividly remember. remember. You said what? I very vividly remember the yeah. jollof yesterday. Are we talking about both or yours? Or the okay, let's, let's be nice to the pizza. The pizza rice? Let's be nice to the pizza rice. Okay. So in comparison to the real Nigerian jollof that we got from the restaurant, like what are your, what are your thoughts? This is more comparable. Mm -hmm. It's still like, too Not, soft. Yeah. The yeah. Rice. You overcook the I rice, tend, but I tend to cook the soft rice. Like it's really difficult for me to like make a grainy rice. But the flavor, it's, it's, very similar. It's there. It's good. It's similar. Yeah. It's similar. The little kick after, it's but not as strong. Mm -hmm. Which I wish it was stronger. But what you wish what was stronger? The kick after, the kick after. like you should eat like more, with more scotch on it. Oh, yeah. girl, that I was like kind of shaking with the with the one. This, yeah, the more scotch bonnet, and it's more gravy like than hers was because hers was more dry. dry. Yeah. So maybe like using less, uh, more rice. More rice or less water. Right. But other than that, like it matches pretty well. <laughs> Not me being scared. <laughs> Alright, Monica, your thoughts? Um, so yeah, it's more, it's good overall. It's good. It's, good. it's definitely nice. I say that's such a dense review. Huh? That's such a dense review. You that's, don't want to say more? I have to like go out from in, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. but um, 
So like what Nikki said, it is a little bit more softer, like the rice, and I feel like, I mean, that, that probably also varies like throughout how Nigerian people cook their rice, like if they like it softer or like, you know, more like grainy. grainy. Um, the kick after needs a little bit more. But it's there. It's it's there. Like you can, it's, you can see yeah, the resemblance. Cake. You can see it much closer. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna finish. This. The only difference. It's gonna finish. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hidden. It's the only hidden. difference is you have a lot more oil. So yeah, my cut, my dress is oily. Cut the oil back. I don't know how though, because I don't remember you putting oil. I put. I had a little bit butter too, but it was oily before I did. But I got some inspiration. I did my. I did further research than. Okay, let's not let's not do my girl like that in comparison to the pizza rice. This is this is this is a ten in comparison <laughs> to the pizza rice. <laughs> y'all not y'all y'all thought y'all like the pizza rice. We did, but it wasn't it, it wasn't July. That was pizza. That in was pizza rice. Form. Pizza rice. Okay, so give me this one out of ten. Mm -hmm. Compared to hers? Okay. If we're putting hers at a ten, if oh, hers is a ten. Yours is a nine. Really? Not a What would you say? I say like seven and a half, eight. I mean, yeah, I get like eight and a half, nine. I mean, like it's 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 just like the soft and then the the oil. But other than that, and the not like not being strong enough of like a spice after. I feel like the flavor is like spot on though. I think the flavor could be a little bit more. It's a little bit more. I yeah. thought that was the harsh one. In what way, Monica? Not Katie being offensive. <laughs> you know I get offensive. Not the real engine coming out. Not, not you. Also, y'all. Yeah. I don't finish I'm, nothing. I'm gonna have more after that. After Monica's gonna take some home. <laughs> yeah. Monica take everything home though, so that's not a. Okay, wait, hold on, don't you know? Cause I might take some home though, and I don't take nothing home. Cause pizza rice. I mean, nobody wanted that. You didn't, even, to you didn't even want. One. You didn't even want the pizza rice. <laughs> Mind you, y'all, she threw the pizza rice out. A day. But did this you is good. Try the pizza rice. I did. I was not. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about pizza rice. Okay. Scale one. So you're saying a you comparison to her rice. Seven it's and a half. Seven and a half. Eight. I'll give it solid eight and a half. Okay. Just in general, if I gave you this rice, just I'll eat it. Uh, I mean, what's the rating out of ten? If I just gave you this rice, they couldn't see that. Oh. <laughs> okay. There's like no, I mean, like the one little piece fell out. Um, yeah, let me finish it. Monica picked every last grain up out the <laughs> Period. Um, out of out of ten, if you just handed me this, a nine. Yeah, like it's good. You see me? I mean, I'm I've never, so excited. I will say, like, besides the jalap we had yesterday, we're gonna preface this by saying we neither of us have, have ever had jalap except the jalap yesterday. So the one yesterday. Was good, but we don't know. Like we haven't. Like this could be a, this could be elite in that, comparison to some other ones. And that could have been that could have been terrible job off. It could have been. I just yeah. went to like a place. I just picked a random place with good reviews, so I didn't. But yeah, this was this was good. Mm -hmm. Just the oil. I would just. That's the yeah. only thing I would be worried about if I was eating it on my own. It's like the amount of oil. No, I want to get every last. You can like see the oil in the plate, but other than that, like it, the flavor the flavor profile is bomb. Yes. See. Cause like you know, I'm stubborn. Like if I got a, if I got this yesterday, we wouldn't be here. You know, <laughs> like I was not gonna go out. Like that. Yeah, this is good. Okay, thanks, y'all. <laughs> I had so much fun doing this. Like so, so much fun. And like I was saying, like low key, I'm gonna incorporate jollof into my like you know. If I'm having like some people over, you know, I might make me some jollof. I'm not Nigerian, but you know, I be making tacos. So it's like, you know, and like I'm doing a feast. Uh, it's not really gonna be a feast, but I'm doing like a feast for Kwanzaa um, later this week. And I'm gonna make another batch of jollof because that junk was done. Everybody took some home. It freaking slapped. And we'll put, I'm gonna put more scotch bonnet in it as well. I'm gonna put two in there so it can have like a little bit more, little, you little, you know, in the back of your throat. I want that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Um, if you do make this recipe, I, I hope you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love this rice. It was so freaking good. I would recommend you also watch other videos so you can surmise, you know what I'm saying? See what other people are doing as well. Especially since like, I am not Nigerian, you know what I'm saying? My my aunt did not teach me how to make this. I did research and made it. So I would recommend doing that. The link to the detailed recipe 
is in the description box below. While you're here, check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.